Do you want to know what's happening around the world of sports? Look no further than The Bench with your host, Blaine Ool. Welcome back to The Bench. I'm your host, Blaine Ool. We're going to open up things on this lovely Friday by heading to the NFL with the Thursday night light game between the Chargers and the Raiders. Heading into this game, the Chargers would have a 4-5 and five record, while the Oakland Raiders would sit at 500 with a 4-4 and four record. In a tight two-point game, the Raiders would pull out the win 26-24 to to move to 5-4. and four. Some other games taking place this Sunday in the NFL include the Bengals at the Ravens, Bengals still searching for that first win, Saints versus Falcons, the Battle of New York as the Jets take on the Giants, Chiefs versus Titans as Patrick Mahomes is expected to play, but it's still a game-time decision. And undefeated 49ers will host Russell Wilson and the Seahawks on Monday Night Football. Booyah, baby! Great weekend for college football. We start off with... The game of the week with number two LSU taking on number three Alabama in Tuscaloosa. You want to talk about some serious playoff implications? It's right here in this game. Someone's going to lose, and whoever it is, I believe they're out of the playoff race, period. Joe Burrow and the Tiger offense looks to keep Tua Tagovailoa off the field with the Bama offense. This will be Tua's first game in three weeks after suffering a high ankle sprain that called for surgery. This game has all the ideals set up for an old school tough nosed football game. Let's see who's going to win. We will also have another game with two undefeated teams as number four Penn State takes on number 17 Minnesota. These two Big Ten teams will both be hoping to make their statement for why they should be in the playoffs. Ohio State takes on Maryland, Baylor versus TCU, Kansas State versus Texas, and Iowa versus Wisconsin. Finally, Clemson will take on NC State at NC State. Part two of college hoops. Ohio State would kick off their season facing off against the in-state rival Cincinnati. After a slow start only having 15 points at half, the Buckeyes would come out and have a huge second half winning 64-56. Virginia would take down Syracuse in a low scoring game 48-34. UNC would win a tight game against Notre Dame 76-65 as true freshman Cole Anthony drops 30 on the Irish in his debut. We're heading to the NBA. Here are some final scores from Wednesday night NBA games. Rockets 129, Warriors 112, Harden drops 36 as the Warriors continue to struggle. The Jazz defeat the 76ers 106-104 as rising star Donovan Mitchell puts down 24. Finally, the Greek Freak and the Bucks take down the Clippers 129-124 as Giannis goes crazy with 36 points and 16 rebounds. The man is a animal. Today's monologue is going to be based off personal reference on what I believe the top division matchups are in the state of Ohio for Week 11 high school football. Now these were tough, but I narrowed it down to one specific game in each division. In Division 1, out of all the regions, I believe there's going to be one that sticks out to me. That's Region 4, Coleraine versus Princeton. Coleraine and Princeton both played in the regular season, and Coleraine got the best of Princeton. So look for Princeton coming out for revenge and a Week 12 spot. Division 2 comes down to Region 8 and one of our very own MVL teams. Azenia will host undefeated Walnut Ridge. Not going to lie, I'm not sure who to take here, but I have to root for the local MVL team, and I hope Xenia pulls out the win. Division 3, Region 12. This was a tough one because in Region 12 alone, I could pick out three games. Division 3 was packed with good games, but I went with Walpock versus Trotwood. Last year, Walpock knocked off Trotwood in the very first round, stunning everyone. So look out for Trotwood coming out hot and not letting that happen again. Division 4, Region 16. Clinton Massey versus Valley View. Two teams sitting in Week 11 with equal records, both fighting for Week 12. This should be a good matchup, but I have Clinton Massey big in this one. Division 5, Region 19. Not going to lie, I'm not sure on a lot of D5 teams, but I have a friend that plays for Columbus Academy, and they take on Amanda Clear Creek. I sure do hope Columbus Academy wins. Shout out to Sam Hugie. Division 6, Region 23. I will personally be attending this game in Minster tonight as 9-1 Anna Rockets heads to 9-1 Minster Wildcats. I know Anna has about 25 to 26 seniors this year, and I've heard a lot of good things about how this could be the year they make a state run in Division 6. I hope Anna pulls out this one. Finally, Division 7. We have Fort Laramie versus North Harden in a top matchup in Region 28. Laramie has a tough opponent early this year in Week 11, and North Harden, I got him with the upset this year. I think they can do it. That concludes today's episode of The Bench. I'm your host, Blaine Will. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next week.